Yeah. All right. So Jedi options. Let's let's do it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put some uh, some ideas behind this this uh, bearish bearish conversation today in light of uh, market selling off. A uh, topic today is gonna be bear put spreads. Bear put spreads. If you can't beat them, join them. You have not been able to beat bears in growth stocks because they just keep hounding them. So let's join them. Let's do a bearish trade. Um, pro tip, when you pull up at a chart, a, a one-year chart, and the, the right-hand side of the chart, like today's price action, when it's so small that you can't see it, it means the stock has been decimated. It's, it's dropped so much that to get the 200-day moving average on the scale where it was a year ago, and to get the current price on the scale, you got to have a price range of 20 bucks to 120. It's ridiculous. You got to get a magnifying glass to zoom in on ARC. So you, you got to zoom in on this bad boy so you can actually see the, the treacherous nature of recent price action. Uh, ARC is the poster child for unprofitable growth stocks. Uh, they love them post pandemic. Now they absolutely hate them. That's what happens when money goes from being free to, uh, hey, Fed funds at four, maybe going into 5%. You got to make money. Cash flow is king. And if you're unprofitable, uh, the the hatred is thick right now for you guys. ARC was um, on the options report as a bear pick because she was flirting with a support break. Uh, if you go back to Friday, that's November 4th. You'll see what I'm talking about, right? Below all the moving averages, nasty sell-off on Friday, kissing $34 support. Well, listen, all it took was uh, them killing some of these, these uh, growth-related uh, momentum names after earnings and, and sure enough, ARC uh, slipping away here. You could say, oh, but Tyler, it's, you know, it's, it's down a decent amount. Need I go back? Rewind 30 seconds to what I said at the beginning. This thing's been going down, down a lot, a long time, and it keeps going down. Nobody knows where the bottom is. You just broke support. You, sh you could see some downside follow through here, right? So what if I want to do a bearish directional trade on ARC in light of this support break? What can you do? You can do lots of things. You can short the stock. You can buy a put. Uh, if shorting the stock you don't want to do because it's too expensive and you don't like the open-ended risk, I get it. I wouldn't want to either. Buying a put, you could certainly do that. It's going to be cheaper than shorting stock, but maybe you don't like the negative theta. Maybe you don't like the lower probability. Maybe it's just a titch, a titch too aggressive for you. I want to go bearish directional, but I don't want to go YOLO with long puts. I want something a little more, a little more um, conservative. The bear put is an elegant solution. It's a simple bearish strategy where you buy uh, an at the money put or an out of the money put or an in the money put, it doesn't even matter. You buy a higher strike price put and you sell a lower strike price against it in the same month. And that's gonna reduce the cost. It makes it a limited uh, reward trade as well, but we're gonna structure or we can make a decent amount of money. So uh, lots of guidelines that you could use to, to, to build this. I like to keep it relatively simple though. I'm going to buy like around an at the money put and then I'm just going to sell an out of the money put right around where I think the stock's going to go, my target. And this is around 33 bucks. I think it has strikes in dollar increments. Let's assume that's the case. Uh, in fact, why don't I just go check? Why don't I just go check? I'm going to go to December. Yep, got strikes in $1 increments. So I'm going to buy the 33 put and I'm going to sell... Well, I'll tell you this. I think it's silly to do like a $1 wide spread. It's like, come on, man. What are you going to pay? 10 cents, 15 cents? Like, let's, let's put some money behind this. Uh, for me, a $3 wide spread would be the minimum. So if I bought the 33 strike put, 30 would be one potential uh, strike that I could sell against it. But if I'm like, oh, I think this thing could go down to like 29, 28. Maybe I want to do a four or $5 spread. So we'll, we'll look at a three, four, five dollar spread somewhere around there, um, trying to make a good amount of money. A good amount of money meaning we're going to at least be able to double our money uh, if this thing drops down towards twenty nine. That's that's kind of where I'm leaning is is a four dollar wide spread. But let's let's look at some other pieces of uh, of the trade here. 
33 strike put, got about a 47 delta, so right around half the money. Gonna buy that. Now, this is part of my reservation with buying puts. You're paying $280 for a 33 strike put. Oh, it's nearly 10% of the stock price. Okay, that's expensive. Now, maybe deservedly so. ARC is garbage. It moves a lot. Okay, it moves a lot. It's got an ATR of, I think it was a buck, buck and a half. Two bucks, sorry, two bucks. Dude, still moving like six, 7% a day. So of course the option is going to be expensive. Well, I'm going to make it cheaper. So I bought the 33 put by clicking on the ask price. Got about a 50 delta. I'm going to come down here to the 29 strike. And that has about a 25 delta. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell it. So I'm just going to control click on the bid price to sell that strike. 25 net delta approximately, buying a 50 delta put, selling a 25 delta put. That means my net delta is 25. That net delta 25 is kind of a good rule of thumb. If you want to build a vertical spread that's that's fairly directional and aggressive, uh, net delta 25 is a good, good little rule. Um, and look what I did to the cost. I took it from 280 down to a buck 55. I reduced the cost dramatically by selling that 29 strike put against it. Listen, if I'm paying $1.50 for a $4 spread, the maximum value is four bucks. If it gets to four bucks and you paid around a buck fifty, then your potential profits uh, two fifty, two fifty. So I'm risking a buck fifty to make two fifty. If indeed I made two fifty, it's on the other screen here. If I made two fifty on one fifty, it's a hundred sixty six percent return. Ah, eh. I mean that's pretty good. One hundred sixty six percent. Sign me up. So that's plenty of upside. Okay, um, and and twenty nine. The fact that it has a delta of twenty five tells you it's not outlandish. It's not unrealistic for this to go down to twenty nine. It's not like I'm selling a five delta put. I'm not asking for much. Or you just got to go down to twenty nine. I like December expiration because we're getting quick movement. Um, if you buy a March twenty twenty three bear put spread on Arc, and Arc hits twenty nine in the next two weeks. You're going to be watching paint dry waiting for your, your max profit to come to you, okay? I think 37 days is plenty, um, particularly if the market, you know, has a negative response to CPI. I mean, you're going to, you're going to continue to see these things uh, spiral low, okay? So buck 50, 33, 29, December, $4 wide bear put spread. It's cheap enough. Don't think you even need a stop loss if you're willing to risk the buck 50. But if you wanted to stop, I would use the chart. You decide uh, how much room do you want to give this if it bounces? How about breaking the nine uh, nine or 20 day moving average? I think that's a decent short term stop loss if you want to bail at the first sign of strength. And as for target, again, I'm fishing for 29 bucks. You could bail if it gets there or chill and try to make a little more money due to time decay uh, if it gets down there quick. But I think that sets up a pretty low cost, simple, bearish directional trade. No funny business, straight up vertical spread. Nice, cheap way of doing a directional play, and it's a good fit for ARC given the current environment.